Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Friday, May 13th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about the tool of charts and how they can be used to help make good decisions as a trader, then this will be a video for you. Before we get into the watch list, I first want to personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering. So if you like what you see here and you want to learn more about this tool, then certainly get signed up for the free class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage. But on that note, I do understand that maybe you already have something on your schedule this evening, or who knows, maybe you're watching this video Friday morning and you've literally missed the live class. And that is okay because it will be recorded. So after the live event's done and I get it uploaded, I would be happy to send you a link to it. So if you're interested in still seeing it, again, whether or not you just can't make it this evening or if you just flat out missed it, then drop me an email there and I'd be happy to send you a link to the live recording after it's completed. A couple of quick clarification points. First off, the market is still open for a little bit of time. So the price you see over here will be moving around and the candlestick you see right there will still be moving because I like to do these videos when the market's still open for a little bit because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then also I'll be using the 30 minute time frame. So for you, those of you beginners out there, what that means is that each one of these candlesticks as they're called represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, ticker symbol ALNA, and I'm putting this one on the watch list. Uh, well, I guess this isn't the only reason, but big reason, it's a penny stock. I know a lot of traders like this stocks that are down below the dollar mark. Huge volume today, but the main reason being, and I'm not trying to impress you, I'm not trying to imply that I have a great talent or a great skill, or this is a great discovery, but I assure you all sorts of people have drawn that resistance line right there at essentially 18 cents. And when a lot of people are watching the same level, wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can certainly produce some very dynamic movements. There are no guarantees. So I'm not saying that if the price goes up there and breaks through it, that it'll for sure you know, have some sort of massive breakout. But is it at least plausible? Is it at least a valid thought process to have? Absolutely. In other words, this 18 cent mark is not some sort of random area on the chart. It's a level that stands out. So therefore, you know that a lot of other people are gonna be keeping an eye on it. So keep an eye on 18 cents from a breakout standpoint. For anybody that likes to play uh, pullbacks, then the main area to watch on that is gonna be down here right around the 12 cent mark. Uh, but all in all, like I said, in my opinion, at least 18 cents is by far the most intriguing level. So let's see if the price can recover back up to that area and get a breakout through there. Next one here, AMC. And I'm not quite sure what to say or think on this one just because it was such a, a bonkers day. Not it, Actually, I take this back. Almost really just a bonkers 30 minutes because as I said earlier, each one of these represents 30 minutes. So you can see this one 30 minute period here, huge move up. And then is essentially given back all the gains, not quite, but really at the end of the day, and this will mean a bit more to those of you that have watched previous videos, nothing really happened from an overall pattern perspective. Meaning I had mapped out these couple levels of resistance right there, of support right here. And now you see where the price is. It's essentially basically right in between those two lines as before. So huge move up and then right back to the middle part of that range, which I talked about previously. Uh, but there is still no denying that this was a crazy movement. So which brings up the valid question of, you know, is this some sort of leading indicator where there's more to come on Friday? Maybe, maybe not. I have no idea, obviously, but that is the idea behind a watch list is to find unique, to find interesting situations and then watch them. You don't just rush in and buy or do anything, but watch them to see if they behave in a way that fits your personal strategy. And if they do, well, then at that point, you could put together some sort of trade plan. So like I said, maybe that was just a, a glitch. I, I don't know, but what I do know is that it was very interesting and worth at least keeping an eye on for Friday. Next one, R-I-D-E, and I like this one a whole lot because of a very well-defined pattern. So we go back to that whole topic of self-fulfilling prophecies and a lot of people watching. So once again, I'm not trying to imply that this is some sort of great skill or secret discovery here. I assure you a lot of people have drawn up this pattern. So the top part of that pattern right there via that resistance tread line, bottom part of the pattern right down here at that support. In fact, let me change that to green to represent more. So the bullish dynamic of things. And then to keep everything the same color, just to make the pattern maybe the easiest to see. So again, we have our resistance, we have our support, we have the big momentum move right there. And we have, let's just put the golf hole down here to make it more visual. We have ourselves a good old fashioned bull pennant pattern. So if you like to play bull pennant patterns, if you like to play, you know, the price range down below $5, then I definitely say this one belongs on your watch list. Next one, RBLX, another very crazy move here. 
And overall, a, a very solid day, especially when you factor in the, the context of how things started off, meaning gap down below that area of support, which I talked about previously. And then after the gap down, went down slightly and then just came roaring back. Yeah, it did pull back, but nothing crazy. And within pulling back, that's also what now creates a, a very interesting scenario here moving into Friday. And that scenario is once again, another well-defined pattern. Now in this situation, I'm not gonna actually use a trend line. We're gonna use that pink line as our trend line because that's the very well-known, very famous 200 period moving average, which you can see ultimately provided, you know, that area of resistance here. So like I said, let's just use that as the genu uh, you know, general trend line from resistance standpoint. We have our area of support right there. And once again, we have our momentum move right here. So I get it, it's, it's not maybe as clean of a pattern, but the general premise is the same and we'll put our golf hole down here. So once again, we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern. And you know, I think a lot of people will be watching and rightfully so that you know, 200 period moving average, can the price get up there? And if so, can it break through it? Let's see what happens on Friday. Now I should have put this one at a different location in the watch list, but ticker symbol here, GME, because basically it mirrored AMC, or I, I realized some people are, no, 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 AMC mirrored GME, fine. I, I guess it depends on whose team you're on. But point here being, that 30 minute session there was crazy. It did drop back down, but it's not like it gave up all the gains and came down to those lows. So the level here that I think a lot of people will be watching, especially those shorts, is this level down here at the $85 mark because the shorts are thinking, and again, there are no guarantees, but their thought process is valid, is that if the price comes down here and falls down through there, that's essentially sending the price right back inside of that range where it already was. That would be pretty bearish, make people not feel that good. So from a short standpoint though, that could be a money-making opportunity. However, there are gonna be longs, and again, rightfully so, I understand their logic, they're thinking, but wait, wait, if the price comes down there, I mean, it's bounced from there before, so I think it might bounce back up. Again, I see the logic, but that's why risk management matters because somebody's gonna be right, somebody's gonna be wrong, and if you do happen to be on the wrong side, hey, you're not alone, we've all been there, and you always continue to be there because you're not always gonna be right, but that's where risk management matters. So at the core though, this $85 mark is the area that I think a whole lot of people will be watching, so let's see what happens with it. Next one, PLTR, and this will mean a bit more to those of you, those of you that have watched the past uh, videos, but in order for this to make the most sense, I need to first just extend this tread line out because that'll actually reveal what makes this a very interesting situation and therefore, again, as I talked about earlier, per just the philosophy of a watch list, worth watching. And that has to do with that tread line right there, which again, I put it in previous videos, but you can see that right now as I speak, the price is essentially doing battle with that level and in fact is slightly up above it, which allows us to throw this out there and ask the question, hey, is this the start of something even bigger? Now think about that question. What has to happen in order for me to even be able to ask that? Well, something has to happen in the first place, right? And we did have that something that happened via the tread line breakout right there. Now to be very clear, it's a two-sided coin, so maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe this is just a little faulty breakout and back down it goes. But once again, that is a two-sided coin. So if this is the start of something bigger and it keeps going, it's worth at least potentially watching. So again, interesting situation. Very, uh, you know, like I said, from a technical point of view, very, very curious situation. And if you like to play breakouts or if you like to play stocks that have technically broken out a little bit, but you like to try to see if there's more continuation, uh, then this is one that I definitely say to keep an eye on for Friday. Next one, RIVN, a pretty quick turnaround because this was just such a slow and steady bleed, uh, but a nice pattern here. Now you do want to keep in context that this, this pattern is not occurring in some sort of massively bullish environment. That doesn't mean that it can't keep going up, uh, but it's not quite as good as it could be because again, if you had this bullish pattern in a bullish trend, you know, that's just that much better, but it's more so a bullish pattern in a bearish trend, uh, which doesn't mean that it'll fail, but like I said, I, it's just not as ideal as it, what, as it could be, but the level here that a lot of people will be watching, longs and shorts, everybody in between is gonna be right here at $23.30. You can see right here, it's done a fantastic job so far of providing support. So you know that there's gonna be long sinking. Well, if it goes on there again, I could see it bouncing. Again, totally valid. There's gonna be shorts saying, if it goes on there and fails, that could certainly create a lot of downside panic. Again, totally valid thought process to have. So I won't you know, lecture again on the importance of risk management, but that's why risk management matters because both thought processes are plausible, are valid, uh, but you just gotta figure out you know, which way the price ultimately, uh, you know, how it decides to behave at that area. Now, if it does decide to bounce back up, key resistance here that I think a lot of people will be watching is that general trend line right there. So the pattern here, maybe you know where I'm headed with this, resistance, support, momentum move, Golf hole down here, we have ourselves another bull pennant pattern, which again is occurring in a bearish trend, uh, but nonetheless, certainly worth at least watching. Next one here, CVNA, which was not really ever a meme stock, but 
I, I should have probably put it along with AMC and GME because same general premise here. This one got crazy today, had some big 30 minute sessions. The price did pull back, but it's not like it totally collapsed, but it does preside that very interesting level like on GME where a lot of people are gonna be watching. I think GME was like $85. On this one here, right at 36. You're gonna be having longs and shorts, everybody in between watching and wondering all about that level. Of course, the shorts will be wondering if that fails. I can see some panic to the downside. The bulls are gonna be saying, well, I mean, it's bounced from there several times before. I think it could happen again. Both are valid, both are credible, uh, but it just comes down to uh, you know how things ultimately behave. And that's why you better be able to, to manage that risk just in case you happen to be on the wrong side of that coin. If the price does decide to start to bounce back up, as far as areas of resistance are concerned, first key level right there at $40.50, and the next key level of resistance after that, right up there at $44.50. But yeah, no doubt about it, crazy movement today. Let's see if there's anything left in it for Friday. Next one, AMD, and overall, pretty choppy day, uh, but at the end of the day, the, the support zone here held, and this will mean a bit more to those that have watched past videos, but if you have, hopefully remember me talking about that support zone right there. Like I said, it was looking very sketchy right there, the price all the way down there. Granted, it did recover, and then completely fell apart, looking very sketchy, and once again, as I speak, is recovering very nicely, and like I said at the beginning, that's why I like to do these videos when the market's still open, because as you're seeing here, this last candle, coming up very strongly, and this last 30 minutes looking like it might close at the high of that 30 minute candle. Uh, but really this all brings about the question of, okay, you, you gotta give credit or credit to, this right here is a very impressive bounce. But is this the start of a much bigger bounce? Who knows, but it's worth at least keeping an eye on. And like I said earlier, in order for me to even be able to ask that question of, is this the start of something bigger? Well, it first needed to bounce in the first place or else it would make no sense to even ask that question. So you know that's gonna be the big dynamic here with AMD. Very popular stock. In fact, I'd probably call it a cult stock. Very strong following. Um, so yeah, maybe this is the start of some sort of reasoning that'll cause people to buy even more and uh, create an even better trade moving forward into Friday. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. But overall, no doubt about it. Nice recovery from breaking that support zone. Very strong close. So let's see if it carries into Friday. Next, TSLA Tesla. And a, a crazy, crazy morning. And then, I mean, it was still crazy and it was crazy all day long. So don't get me wrong, but... Uh, you know, it just kind of got a little slowly and methodically drifted downwards. Although the last part of the day w w was fine. I mean, it wasn't like AMD, which we just looked at very strong. Uh, but overall, when all the dust had settled, really the, the two main levels that I talked about previously came into play here. You have the top level up here at right around 700. And well, now actually, now that I have more data, I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment. That level seems to be more accurately right up there at 760. And then down here, that $700 level. Uh, didn't play in perfectly because the price did drop down below it a couple of times. But generally speaking, just because also it's a big old round number, got to think that $700 will still be important moving forward. But even in the near term, and maybe I'm splitting hairs by even pointing this out, but very clearly a support level showed up all of a sudden right there. At, let's call it the 706 mark. So it's almost a situation like AMD, a support zone. Just because 706 fails, I'd be a little careful because you don't want to get caught, you know, as a short thinking it's going to crash and then you get a bounce off the 700. Now, who knows? Maybe that would be the leading, leading indicator that 700 has uh, fallen. But, you know, these, those are going to be the main levels that I'll be watching tomorrow. And as somebody that, uh, you know, trades Tesla almost every day, I uh, traded it today, uh, you know, these will be the personal levels that I'll keep an eye on. Uh, but of course, you are free to disagree if you think those levels make sense. But, you know, for this, you know, chart here, that was me kind of just thinking out loud in terms of the levels that I find uh, intriguing headed into Friday. So that wraps up the top 10 list. Again, as I said earlier, if you like what you saw here and you wanna learn more about this tool and how it can be very helpful in building consistency, then certainly get signed up for the free class this evening. But as I already said, also, uh, if you already have something on your schedule this evening or you're watching it Friday morning and you missed it, go ahead, drop me an email, clay at claychart.com, and I would be happy to send you a link to the recording. But again, it is live, so the recording first needs to happen in order, you know, before I can send anything out to you. Uh, so just keep that in mind also. But overall, hopefully uh, I can see you there live. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy this format, if you would like for me to continue to make these videos, then please help me out with some basic feedback. Hit that like button, leave a simple comment, even if it's just saying hi, what you traded today, what you're watching tomorrow. But those two things communicate to me that you enjoy this content. And as long as I know you are enjoying, then I will continue to put in the time and effort required to get these watch lists out to you. So everybody take care, have a good one, and hopefully I'll see you here this evening. If not, go ahead and drop me an email.